Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited to be back making another video for you guys. So lately I have been looking over my Poshmark and seeing what pieces have been on there for a long time. And I've been seeing pieces that I am just so tired of sharing over and over because they're not worth very much. I have them up on my Poshmark for like 10 to $15. And so my takeaway from selling something like at that price point is usually like $5. So I decided to go through a lot of my Poshmark listings and just take them to a buy, sell, trade place. So I am here right now at this place called Uptown Cheapskate. It's like a Plato's Closet or whatever equivalent you have near you, like a Buffalo Exchange. And so they buy gently used clothes. So I have three bags of clothes that I'm gonna take in to sell. So we've got three full bags back in the back seat to sell. And so I'm hoping to get around like $5 each for some of the pieces. This place is usually pretty good about buyouts. I'm going to sell a lot of my old merchandise. And then this is gonna be kind of just a fun video. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that money. I think that I'm gonna to try to reinvest it into some more pieces for my closet. So I'm gonna look around Uptown Cheapskate and I also probably will go to a Goodwill afterwards. So let's see what the day holds. But so I'm gonna be taking all three of these bags full of things over to Uptown Cheapskate. Woo! A few moments later. So that was pretty successful. I took in three heaping bags of clothes. They only bought nine items, but most of the items that they bought, I only paid like a dollar for. So they offered me $53 in cash or 66 in in-store credit, but I wanted to take the money that I made today and go buy more things. And I didn't find anything at the Uptown Tubescape to resell. Since I finished up there, I'm gonna go over to a regular Goodwill, see if I can find some things to put up on my Poshmark and also maybe poke around for myself and Jeremy as well. I love not really having a set plan. I love just kind of playing things by ear. I'm having a lot of fun. It's been a chill day, so let's just keep on going and keep on trying to find some things. Okay, so guys, I am having so much fun. It is the most ridiculous experience I've ever had at a Goodwill. Things are so overpriced. It's too funny. It's too funny. Everything, as long as it has a Target tag, is like $15. There's no place to film because this place is so busy. I swear, I was so confused. I was so confused and then I realized today is <sighs> I realized today is October 30th. <laughs> so, so everybody is here for getting their Halloween costumes. <sighs> oh my gosh. There's so many children. I can't. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. When I first got here, I just was like, I'm not finding anything. <laughs> and then I, I found a lot. I only have $50 though to spend because that's what I got from Uptown Cheapskate. <laughs> Okay, I just finished up. It's pretty dark out. I know this lighting is pretty terrible, but it's the best that we can do right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I decided to go to that Goodwill. It was straight, like, straight humor. As you can see in the clips, I was dying. I just kept on like flipping different items and was like, what, who is pricing these things? But I found so many great things. But right now I'm at Chipotle. I am bringing Chipotle home for my husband and me. I'm going to have a great night. It's a Friday night. Tomorrow's Halloween. Jeremy and I are staying in, staying safe. So I'm gonna mask up and then go in and get some Chipotle. Mmm, what a great night. I've had so many good laughs tonight. Okay, I'm back home. It's the next day. I was going to film that night, but it got really dark and it was, I was just tired and I wanted to eat my Chipotle. Can you blame me? So instead I decided to hang everything up and film today. So in a strange turn of events, I didn't get the majority of my items as clothing. I actually got a lot of shoes. If you saw my footage, I was 
flippin' insane. I was laughing so much. I don't know why everything was so funny, but it really was. I just, I think because I'm constantly pricing items that I resell, I just, I think it's hilarious when people just have no idea what they're doing. And I don't mean that in a mean way, just like, it's just so good. It gives me such joy and such, it just is so much fun to see people thinking that they're doing a good job pricing things. This makes me sound horrible. I, I, I just think it's hilarious when somebody's pricing up anything just because they recognize a name. So like anything in that Goodwill that was Tommy Hilfiger or Steve Madden or even just like Target. If anything was Universal Threads, they marked that puppy up. It was like $15 for anything. Like a t-shirt was $15. It was hilarious. So the things that I sold there, they took nine items, majority of which were things from the bins. So I paid in total probably about $9 for all of those items, if not a little bit less. So I made a profit of like almost $40 probably, maybe 50, depending on how heavy those were. I don't really quite remember. So I made a huge profit there, but I'm taking that profit and turning it around and investing it back in my business and going to sell some more things too. In total at Goodwill, I spent $62.16, but $11 of that was for a basket for my sister. Um, she is a photographer, so I found this amazing little wicker bassinet that I thought would be so cute for pictures. She does a lot of like children's and baby pictures, and it is so cute. So she told me to pick it up, so 11 of that she already paid me back for. So technically, I spent $51.16 at Goodwill. So I came in $2 under budget, and so all this stuff was basically basically free for me. So I'll start off by showing you the bassinet, because this isn't for me, but I just think it's so cute. It is large, and it is this big wicker bassinet. I think it's so cute. It's this white wicker. It's got the little straps up here, which I think is unique. I thought that this would be so cute. If you had a daughter and she had dolls, this could be a cute bed for them. Obviously, obviously Jen's gonna use that for pictures, but that was so cute. I'm glad that she wanted it because I did not want to leave it there. It was so adorable. So my first find at this Goodwill was these pair of boots. So when I found these, I thought these looked really cute. I looked on the bottom, didn't see anything looked on the inside these are madewell boots these are madewell boots madewell boots retail for around like 128 dollars usually so sometimes 150 dollars and they had no idea what these were so they only marked them at eight dollars the next piece i picked up was for my husband jeremy's poshmark so this is just a basic t-shirt it's the baltimore ravens and if you didn't know, we live in Maryland. I just moved across the country after we got married. And so Jeremy likes to put up on his Poshmark a lot of more men's items and sportswear. So this is a Nike t-shirt, Baltimore Ravens. It's got a really cool kind of sheer hair and it was only $2. So you, all of their Nike things at the store, they marked up to $9. I don't know why. If anything had a Nike tag on it, it was $9 for a t-shirt. But somehow they must've missed this one and they just marked it at two. So I took that as a win. While I was waiting for all my clothes to be looked through at Uptown Cheapskate, I was just kind of poking around, browsing around, and I happened to find two pieces. So I didn't include that in my total because I had some selling credits left on my account. So all of this was also free for things I had already sold. So I got two pieces. The first one I got was this really beautiful gray blazer. And it has this nice little button here. It's a very, very soft blazer. It's amazing quality. It's from the Loft Plus brand. And I am not usually plus size. I usually wear a size like 12 or 14, but this is a size 20, but it still has the tags on it. And it was originally $140. And this thing feels nice. Like it's got some shoulder padding right in here. It's nice and long. It's got buttons right there on the cuff. I think this is so beautiful. If you guys watched my closet clean out video, then you would know that I have a very difficult time finding anything that fits me in the shoulders. Usually I love blazers, but they do not look good on me. But this guy actually fits me. He's stretchy enough in the shoulders. I think it's because it's oversized that it works for me. But I just think it's so cute. It's such a cute little blazer for fall and winter. I love layers. I just think that this is so cute. So I found this and this was $24 and that is quite pricey for me. I feel like 
thrifting and thrifting at the bins especially has really made me kind of cheap but for a $140 blazer I thought $24 was not bad especially since I had credits to pay for it and also if you spent over $30 yeah if you spent over $30 then you got $5 off so I bought this and I bought this white zip up hoodie it's really oversized it's really long this was in the men's section it's from Target it's the Goodfellow brand this is also new with tags this was originally $30 and I got it for $13.99 so with the total of both of those and my $5 off I spent I think $33 with tax I had a $37 credit so I still had a few dollars left so that worked out really well for me and I just thought this would be so nice to wear just if I'm taking Otis out to go potty in the night or just around the house too. It's really cute. I've been looking for something long and zipped up like this for a while and so I really like this white color too. I've been mentioning a lot of brands that I've been looking up for my bolo list or my be on the lookout for list and one of those brands that I've been looking for every time I go to the thrift store is a brand called Sorel. The things that I've been looking for are boots. I've heard about a lot of other resellers that have been finding Sorel and reselling them for a good profit. So I've been looking for them. It's been on my radar. And this time I was in the middle of weeding my car. I was putting something back on a rack. I thought I had gone through all the shoes before, but somehow I had missed them. And I looked up and there they were, a pair of Sorel boots. And they are pretty cute. So they've got the Sorel logo right here, as well as on the back. They're in amazing condition on the bottom. And also they had no idea what these were. They marked them at $8. These puppies retail for, I think over a hundred at least, maybe over 150. Even if I sell these for 50 bucks on my Poshmark, I would be very happy with that. So I mentioned that I spent $62.16 and one of those items was the bassinet for my sister. But other than that, I bought three items of clothes, two homewares, two toys, and four pairs of shoes. The next piece of clothing I found was this really pretty wrap style skirt. It's in this beautiful polka dot print. And let's see if I can show you all of this. It's gonna come off hard on the camera to show you. It's gonna be hard to show you on the camera, but it's got this like wrap over the front right there. And it's a little bit shorter in the front than it is in the back. It's in this really nice chiffon material. It's lined, there's the back of the skirt. And I had to look it up because I didn't know what this brand was, but I'm glad I did. It's by Marl Reunited Clothing, and it's new with tags, which is what initially drew me to it, and the fact that it's a really cute style. And wrap styles are really trendy right now, and I like that it's a longer skirt as well, so you can transition that really well into fall and winter. But I looked this up, and I think that they work in collaboration with, oh dear, I forgot now. I can't remember if it was with Nordstrom or if it was with Saks Fifth Avenue, but whatever it was, I looked and a lot of their clothing retailed for well in the hundreds of dollars. And so I decided to buy this. And it was only $4.89. That Goodwill man. They know what they're doing sometimes, but they also really, really don't. My last piece of clothing is this dress. It is the most exciting thing that I found. By far. But I don't want to show you yet. I'm going to save it until the end. You'll have to wait in anticipation because it is so good. Next up, I found this pair of Nike sneakers. They've got kind of the high top design here. They're Nike Air Precision sneakers. These are ones that I sent a picture of to Jeremy because I didn't know if he would want them or not because they're men's shoes. They're a size eight and a half and I got them for eight dollars. So I always like to pick up Nike shoes. They always sell really well on Poshmark. They're usually not up for very long before somebody snatches them up and especially like a black and white style. This is really classic and most everyone likes a black and white shoe. Some of the other styles where they have lots of colors, lots of designs, those ones are a little bit trickier to resell because you have to really like those kinds of styles to like that shoe. This, this is more classic, this is more plain. So these should sell pretty well. So the last pair of shoes are so cute. <laughs> This is new for me. I have never looked in the children's section really at the thrift store. I don't have kids. I don't have any nephews or nieces and I don't sell to the children's market. But these guys are so cute. I literally almost started crying. They were so cute. There was these. There was a little Adidas pair. There's another Nike pair. But each one was $5. Which I mean for shoes I feel like it was a lot. Especially for children's shoes. But I picked these up. 
either with the hopes of saving them for my future child or I can resell them. I looked up comps for them on Poshmark. There's a pair that was exactly in this same style. It was just a size up or down, I don't remember which way. And they sold for $35. So my $5 could go a long way in that sort of way. But they're this cute little Max Air pair of Nike tennis shoes with little smiley faces. Oh my gosh, and their they're like mouths are the Nike swoosh. I just think that they're so cute. I could not leave them there. They're so adorable. So Christmas is coming and I have been doing so much searching on eBay for Jeremy's presents. He loves Pokemon cards. He loves collectible items. So I've been learning a lot about collectible items. I went through the toy section just briefly and I saw two little sealed like McDonald's. These are actually Burger King toys. And so I knew that these probably could be worth something and I didn't have too much time to look them up in store but I decided to just grab them. They didn't have a price tag on them but I just assumed they would be cheap so they gave them to me for a dollar each. So this first one, if you've ever seen the movie Robots, I love that movie. So this is a sealed Burger King toy from 2005. It's got the little card for him and then also a little figurine of him and he is Crank Casey. So I thought this was a good pickup. Initially, I first saw this one and I knew I was going to buy it no matter what because my husband loves Dragon Ball Z. And then I found the Crank Casey as well. But this is a sealed Dragon Ball Z from 2002 from Burger King. So this one's a little harder to show you because they have the packaging on both sides. But hmm, I think this is the best way to show you. You can kind of see him through there. So he's, I don't know who this guy is. Or what he's doing but it's a figurine and it's the guy in blue if you are into this kind of thing or if you know dragon ball z let me know down below who this guy is he's a guy in blue with black hair and he's sitting on a rock my two pieces of home goods i got this black bowl i thought it was so cute so classy it's like a matte black it's beautiful i thought it'd be really nice either like in our bedroom on the side of the bed on one of our nightstands to like just hold knickknacks or my earrings or whatever i just thought this would be a nice catch-all and it was 75 cents for this bowl and i just thought it was really classy looking this last home good i picked up was this little canister it's a glass jar with this wooden thing that goes on top i don't know what this is i don't know why it's flat here if you know what this is, let me know in the comments down below, please. But I just thought it looked really cute. So I thought this would look really cool in my kitchen because I have a lot of wooden accents in there and baskets and just kind of more brown. And it was $2. So that is that piece. My last piece that I got, I showed you the two home goods. I showed you the two toys. I showed you two pieces of clothing. This last piece of clothing is so good. Oh! Again, I was talking about that bolo list and I had been looking out for some certain brands I knew were a little higher end because I would love to make more of a profit on paying less for items. So I found this dress. I was going through all the dresses and I've heard of St. John before. And St. John is a designer brand. It's really nice. But I've not heard of St. John Couture. And so I found a St. John Couture dress. It is this beautiful almost like woven texture. It's very thick woven bodycon dress. It, it feels so nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this kind of like thinner knit here on the waist to kind of bring definition. It is in amazing condition. I just think that this is so cute. There's also maybe a little bit of sparkle inside of some of the threading. Let me show you the tag right here as well. So, St. John Couture, right there, and on the metal as well. But down here too, it says dry clean only. Dry clean and turn inside out, low heat, low moisture, low steam. I don't see a size on this, so I'll have to figure out sizing for it. It was in the extra large section, and it looks pretty true to an extra large. It's so hard to pick up on camera, but this is a beautiful dress, and I cannot describe to you how nice this feels. It is so thick. And the beautiful part about this is Goodwill had no idea what this was. They didn't know this was a designer piece. They marked this at $7. I looked on Poshmark for comps and not a single sold St. John Couture piece sold for less than $150. I bought it for $7. $7. I sold a few different Columbia jackets I got in the Goodwill outlet bins 
for like maybe 75 cents each took the Neptune cheapskate got back at least like five bucks per jacket took that money went to goodwill and then found a 200 dollars dress that's retailed for a lot more than 200 dollars too like that was a good day for me I found so many good things. Honestly, I'm probably most excited about that dress just because that was like a crazy find, once in a lifetime kind of find. But honestly, those Sorel boots and also the Madewell boots as well, I'm excited about those. Honestly, it was an amazing haul. One of my best ever, for sure. That is it for today's video. I actually need to go because one of my friends is getting married and they're live streaming their wedding, so I wanna go watch that. But I'm so happy you guys watched my video today. I had such a fun time. It started off a little slow. I didn't know if I was going to find anything. And then I did. And I also just had so much fun laughing in the Goodwill. It was so bad, but it was so much fun. So I found so many great things. Let me know down below what your favorite thing was that I found. Also, let me know what you've been thrifting. I love to hear what other people are thrifting. So let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked today's video, then please give it a like down below. A big thumbs up would be super helpful for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it. I would love it so much if you would hit the subscribe button down below. That would be so helpful for me. I have this big goal to hit a thousand subscribers for February and I really, really wanna do that because I would love to turn YouTube into a job for myself. I also just got another part-time job, so I'm excited to share that with you in a different video. I had so much fun doing this today. If you guys liked this style of video, please let me know. I loved just kind of talking and chatting with you and kind of making it a little bit less formal. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you back here very, very soon for another video. Bye.